The Biden administration plans to cancel all outstanding student loans for those who attended schools that were operated by Corinthian Colleges. That was formerly one of the largest for-profit education companies. The schools have been accused of predatory and unlawful practices and filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2015. Around 560,000 borrowers stand to benefit from the debt cancellation, which will come out to around $5.8 billion. Officials said former students who still have a loan balance should be refunded for previous payments made on their debt. And the relief should be automatic, meaning that borrowers would not have to navigate any paperwork or apply. This is a situation where debt forgiveness makes a lot more sense than broader debt forgiveness for people who have taken out loans for college and gone on from there. It was a fraud. It was. The school was a fraud, yeah. and a lot of taxpayers are going to be on the hook for it because who's making student loans for the most part? It's the federal government. Right. So maybe the federal government could do a better job looking into some of these for-profit colleges and saying, what the hell, the whole business sorry, model what the those, heck are you actually offering here? The whole Agreed. business model for some of those was just essentially being the, 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 the conduit for federal loan money running to students, right. not really converting it into degrees. And, and by the way, part. not worrying if these students graduate, right. not worrying Many what happened did, to them most the way. Not, yeah. yeah, listen, hey, you know what? How about this? Pull a 21 Jump Street if you're the federal government. Seriously. Is it a Johnny Depp reference? It is. <laughs> He's been in the news for other reasons, by the way. Find somebody, if you think a, comp a school is kind of sketchy, have a government agent enroll in the school. Undercover. Yeah. Just check it out. Like, am I learning? Is there real work? Do I have job prospects? Look, this goes back to the conversation we had with Mitch Daniels. Was it earlier this week or yep. late last week? Who's the president of Purdue University, former governor of Indiana, who says schools should be on the hook for some of this, too. If you are pushing students through, they're not getting degrees, they're not getting jobs afterwards, that's a bad situation, and it should be alerted, and you should not have the same access to federal loans and programs as this was set up. And by the way, Purdue University, first of all, he's capped tuition and fees at the 2011-2012 levels for that school, has maintained doing that. 60% of their students graduate without any debt, and 99% of their students get a job after college. You have a soft spot for Indiana, though. My parents are Boilermakers. <laughs> That's where they met. And you went to high school in Val, what, Val, Val, Valpo. Val, I graduated Valparaiso. from Valparaiso. Valparaiso. Well, I graduated living in Valparaiso, Andrea, in high school. But, yeah. But, and, but Mitch Daniels does it right. That is the good Midwestern way of looking at it. Whether you agree with his politics or don't, that is the way of kind of looking at it and making sure colleges have some skin in the game, too. Yeah. And 40% of all outstanding student loan debt is for-profit colleges. Yeah. And guess who's profiting? The colleges, not the students for the most part. Not always, but, but for the most part. Colleges in, in, in air quotes. Exactly.